In this video, I discuss metamorphic games and how they're implemented in Slot Designer. The complexity of these games is central to why Slot Designer was redesigned over the last 10 years. So what are metamorphic games? There doesn't appear to be a clear definition, and in working with these games, I've come to use metamorphic to mean games that evolve as they are played. This has some interesting implications, which I'll get to later. But first, I'll work through a number of games showing various metamorphic elements. The first three games use the random number generator. In the first game, I'm going to make the wild substitute randomly for one of the other symbols. I'll start with the more common wild for all symbols except scatter. From analysis, we can see a single game was created. Then I'll use the random number generator to select one of the other symbols except for the wild and scatter. And I've also added a waiting table for the random selection. Now, after analysis, we can see there are 10 games, one for each of the substituting symbols. And we also see their statistics are different. We see here one of the difficulties working with metamorphic games. There's 10 games, all named base game, but which one corresponds to which symbol? I'll give each game a nickname using the substituting symbol. I'll undo the changes for the random wild symbol and make a different metamorphic game. This game has two sets of real strips, one of which has a large number of wild symbols, resulting in a very high RTP. I'll make a copy of the real strips and rename the new real strips to wild strips, and then increase the number of wilds on each real. The RTP with the original real strips is 75%. With the wild strips, it's now 271%. By randomly selecting between the two real strips, we can get somewhere between these two values. In this case, 93%. Going back to the original game again, I'll create a metamorphic game where the window height varies randomly. The pay line for this game needs to go through the top row of the window, and we specify the window height of each reel independently. I'll make the first reel different so we can see it more clearly in the player. Now I'll make each reel have a random height of one, two or three symbols. Analyzing this game, we can see it's created 243 different games. Changing the window height to four symbols generates 1,024 games. And seven symbols generate 16,807 games. Not all games or features use real strips. Let's take a look at the classic picking boxes to reveal hidden prizes. In the earlier version of Slot Designer, shown here, we had pay rules to directly implement this functionality. This is very easy to use, but inflexible. In the new Slot Designer, starting in 2023, we can build these games using the basic functionality of the language. This is somewhat more verbose, but allows unlimited flexibility. As before, we have a game Geo1, but there's no real strips. Instead, we have a play method that is executed every play of the game. In this case, when we pick a box. We have a pool of prizes from one to four credits to choose from. We make a choice using the random number generator, using hidden to request the input from the player. After each choice, we remember what we chose in the chosen meter so that we don't choose it again next time. 
We prevent previous choices being chosen again by building a waiting table for the RNG, where those choices are given a weight of zero. Using the choice, we look up the prize in the pool and add it to the outcome for the play. And finally, if we've made less than two choices, we add a retrigger and play it again. We can see in the reports the same five credit average win as before, and the probability of the chosen meter transitioning between various values. What we have seen so far, the random number generator, meters, and programming language are the core functionality required to design any game. In Excel, we combine primitive arithmetic operations to model a wide range of games. Similarly, Slot Designer provides the necessary primitives, but at a far higher and more productive level. Slot Designer aims to make it not just possible to design a game, but easy. Let's revisit for a moment that game we studied in Elements of Slot Design. We have base and feature games that are identical, except that the bet is zero in the free game. In Slot Designer, it's implemented as a single game, with a meter determining which game we're in. So we can see this game evolves, and is in fact metamorphic. We'd need to go back to the era of mechanical slots, around the 1970s, to find games that didn't evolve. In the next three games, I'm going to demonstrate a symbol-driven metamorphic feature. This game will stick wild symbols on the leftmost reel, and shift them from left to right on subsequent spins of the free game. But first I'll build a simple basin-free game with no metamorphic functionality. Next I'll add the metamorphic feature. An overlay is the stationary grid of symbols above the spinning reels. An overlay meter allows these symbols to stick, or persist, from spin to spin. We need to detect these symbols in the play window, and copy them into the meter, then build the next game using that meter. Prizes are the mechanism by which we modify meters based on winning combinations. The overlay prize copies a wild symbol into the overlay meter when a combination hit is detected. I'll modify the free game to use the overlay meter. We need to take the overlay from the previous game and add it to the window of the current game. We add four payrolls to detect and update the meter when the wild symbol hits on each row of the first reel. After each spin, just before we go to the next game, we shift the symbols on the overlay one reel to the right. When we analyse this game, we can see it's built 626 games, or one base game and 625 feature games. This is far less than the 2 to the 20th games possible with a 5x4 window, due to the symbol layout of the wild symbols on the first reel. There's a feature trigger already on the window, so I'll use the respin button to play it. We can see the wild symbols shifting to the right. I'll now modify this game again to perform the shifting entirely within the base game. I'll use a 9x9 window and some artwork to make it a bit more interesting. I'm replacing the wild symbol on the overlay with P2, and the overlay size needs to match the window dimensions of 9 by 9. To persist the overlay meter across plays of the base game, we create a custom play button, and disable its default behaviour of resetting the meters when pressed. We then use this play button instead of the default button created by specifying the game name. To make the demo a bit more interesting, I've set the initial real stopping positions for the player. There's one error I need to correct. I need to set the options to display this game properly.
I'll also play 10 games. So what are metamorphic games? If a metamorphic game is one that evolves, we've seen that all real games evolve, hence all games are metamorphic. It may not seem very useful, and it's not the way we normally think of as metamorphic games, but it's true at a very fundamental level in the design of Slot Designer. 